When you're looking for your perfect snare drum sound, some muffling tools can come in very handy. Here is everything you need to know about snare drum muffling. Art of Drumming is not just a YouTube channel, but also a free platform where you can find numerous drum-related courses filmed by major international artists. Head on over and join our growing community. Hey, my name is Andy and today's topic is snare drum muffling. For some musical scenarios, an open and ringy snare drum sound is just too open and ringy. Maybe you don't want an open tone and that much overtones. In all those situations, Muffling tools that you clip onto the snare that you place on the drum head or that you glue to the drum head can come in very handy. So let's get into the first category of muffling tools, internal dampening systems. Most classic snare drum models came and still come with a pre-installed internal dampening system. This Rogers Dynasonic, for example, has a knob on the outside here where by turning the knob you can push a felt dampener from the inside against the batter head. The second most common system you see is the one you can see on this Acrolight snare drum, where you have this lever that helps you push an internal dampener, also a felt dampener, against the batter head. Let's have a listen what it does to the sound. If your snare drum does not feature an internal dampening system, you have tons of other tools that you can use to muffle your snare drum. In this video, we're using a PDP concept model snare drum. Throughout all the demo sequences, the miking stays the same. It's an M201 on top and an MC840 underneath the snare. And also, the tuning stays the same throughout all demo sequences. So if it appears like the pitch is going down, it's only muffling and there is no tuning involved. The first category I want to show you are stick-on muffling tools. For example, there are gel muffling tools like those Remo Crown gels. There are tons of others, they vary in size and color, but the effect they have is exactly the same. And the other tool I want to show you are the drum tags. You just take them out the box, and place them wherever you want on your drum head. Here is what they sound like. The next category of muffling tools are what I would call clip-on tools. For example, one of our favorites is the Minimuff. The Minimuff features a small clamp that you can simply attach to the rim of your drum and then place the muffling device on your snare drum. Another company that offers a huge variety of tools like this one is Snare Weight. They also have a clamp and another thing that is Similar with both, both tools is that there is a magnet built in that allows you to switch the muffling off and on while playing. To give you an ov overview of what the different tools do, we have four of snare weights tools, the M1, the M80 and the number 5 with two different inlays and also the mini muff. If you want even more muffling, I'm also going to demonstrate what two mini muffs sound like when installed at the same snare drum.
If you're looking for even more muffling, the next category is great for you. I would call those tools full surface tools because they have the same size as your snare drum and you simply place them on top of your batter head. The first tool with the least muffling effect in this category are simply dampening rings. They come in all sorts of sizes and, and colors, but this one simply is the Remo model. If you want to go further, a great company for those tools is Big Fat Snare Drum. For example, the donut they sell is basically a huge dampening ring, but with a hole in the middle, so when you hit the snare drum, you still get the initial attack of the drum head, but without any overtones or any tone. You'll hear that in a second. And if you want to go further, you can use one of their tools that does not have a hole in the middle and will be even more muffled. They sell their tools in all sorts of thicknesses, materials, but the principle behind it is always the same. So you will get the idea from just those two very basic models. The last tool I want to show you in this category is the Mr. Muff Muffin. This tool features a textile fabric that covers the whole drum head and has a felt ring all around the tool that helps it sit nicely on your drum head. This tool really helps to reduce the overtones and the tone of your drum to a max and gives you a very muffled sound. Here is what those four tools sound like in a direct comparison. Whenever you're on stage or in the studio and you don't have any of the shown muffling tools with you, or if you simply don't want to spend money on muffling tools, here are five great DIY solutions that will help you out in those situations. One of your best friends when it comes to muffling your snare drum is duct tape. The first and most simple version that you can do is Take a piece, fold it in a way like this, and then simply place it on your snare drum head. This shape will help the duct tape to transport the energy from the drum head to the air by being able to move up here. Of course, you can place as many of those duct tape thingies around your drum head as you want until you get the amount of muffling you're looking for, but here is what one single piece of duct tape does to your snare sound. For the second DIY option, you need a simple felt and once again the duct tape. Simply take a piece of duct tape, place it on your simple felt and then Simply attach it to the rim of your drum, just like this, so that the cymbal felt sits on the surface of your drum head and is attached to the rim. Now, every time you hit the drum, the cymbal felt can lift up and then fall back down afterwards. So, you will have the initial attack, but it will shorten the overtones and the sustain. The next one is quite popular and features a lot more muffling. All you need, once again tape and a paper handkerchief. Simply take it and place it where you want it to sit on the drum head and then Simply fix it with two strips of tape. You'll get a very muffled 80s-like sound. Here is what this sounds like.
The two remaining options are both what I called full surface tools. The first is you take an old drum head that you have lying around and simply place it on top of your snare drum. You could also cut out the metal ring on the side but the effect stays the same, it just might be easier to play without the metal ring. And the second version is you take one of those kitchen towels and you simply place them on top of your snare drum. Now that you've seen all the different options and now that you know all the different tools, it's your turn to find out what tools work in what situation. In one musical context you might want a very muffled sound, while in another one a small tiny bit of muffling might do the trick. Simply experiment with all the options and find out your favorites. If you have done so, make sure to let us know about your favorites in the comments and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one.